Well, think of it as the ultimate high-flying, thrill-seeking backyard. A launching pad that allows one Draper man to soar with the eagles. And tonight we take you inside the flight deck of one man's backyard dream. Dan Rescone joins us with the story. What is this all about? Yeah, pretty exciting story here. Flying high today. <laughs> this is all about that perfect location. People buying homes. People buy homes, of course, for all reasons. The size, the look, the price, or maybe even the number of bedrooms and bathrooms. But for one Draper man, it was all about a backyard that drops right off a cliff. Here in this Draper neighborhood, along Manila Circle, at the very end of the cul-de-sac, there is something happening in this backyard <laughs> that will take your breath away. Yeah, I call it the eagle's nest. This is Brad Ganuccio's launching pad to a thrilling high-flying adventure, <laughs> all from the comforts of his own backyard. One minute, he's soaring with the eagles. The next minute, he's back home. <laughs> That's fun. Brad knows flying. He's been doing it for 20 years and is considered a professional paragliding pilot and national champion. I've been around the world, and there's not too many places you can go and launch and land from the backyard. Brad's home is positioned at one of the most popular spots in the country for paragliding enthusiasts. It sits at the edge of a hill at the point of the mountain next to the state flight park. It's right on the edge of paradise. Well, my friend built this house and I always said this is the sweetest house on the planet. And when it came available, I was just blessed and lucky enough to be here. I'm super blessed. Paragliding is a sport that takes skill and practice. Is this dangerous? It's as dangerous as you want to make it. It's just like any sport, mountain biking, skiing. If you get in conditions over your head, you're probably going to get hurt. But for those with no skill, like myself, there's still a way to enjoy it. I'm going to say three, two, one, go. You're going to start to walk forward. And it's called riding tandem. You don't jump to fly, you run to fly. And that, too, can happen right in Brad's backyard. All right, we're just seconds away from going up into the air. We're just going to be going right off of this edge. Ready to run off a perfectly good now. <laughs> run fast, fast. How fast do you run, Dan? Oh! That's an adrenaline rush. This is a lot more amazing than I thought. Yeah, we could stay up here for a little longer. <laughs> An incredible rush that took us hundreds of feet into the air, high along the mountainside, looking over I-15, and all of the homes along the hillside. It's like being in the ultimate swing. Within minutes, we make our way back to the home with a very smooth landing once again in Brad's backyard. Talk about it. Talk about a pro. <laughs> a six bedroom home in Draper that's purchased not for its looks or size, but for its backyard. Oh, this is my dream. Yeah, I've reached the top. This is the pinnacle. Can't get any better. Yeah, quite the dream home there. Paragliding is a sport that can cost some money to get started. Of course, it costs about five to seven thousand dollars to outfit yourself, plus all the lessons that are involved. But once you have the equipment and the know how, then you can pretty much fly for free. For more information about our story, you can go to our website at KUTV.com. Click on Inside the Story. And you were laughing at my shoes. I was laughing a little at your shoes. I wasn't going to say I came anything. from another story, and so <laughs> I didn't have the paragliding shoes. Well, when so. you say equipment, we now yeah, know you yeah. need the right I shoes. I not, did not have the right equipment. You know, the best thing about that location, too, is, isn't just the cliff, but it's the wind that's yeah. always there around Point of the Mountain. So. It was, yeah. The wind there seems to be perfect at a lot of times, and that's why it makes it so popular. All right, Dan. That All is right. a pretty great location. Safe and sound. Back <laughs> on two feet with us today. It was those sturdy <laughs> shoes. <laughs>